going through infertility definitely sucks, but this aspect of it is just, like, it's mind blowing to be honest with you. We are on our way to Chick-fil-A. I am meeting with some ladies from my mom's group. Um, one of my friends is the head of the group um, through our church and she's kind of like the one that put it all together and plans everything out. And it's grown tremendously in the last year, um, which is wonderful, but because it's grown so much, she was thinking that we should probably put together some sort of team to help with just planning everything out and whatnot because we now offer two different mom's group sessions, which is incredible. So um, she asked me if I wanted to be a part of it and I was just so honored to, you know, to join her with that. So we are headed there right now. We're going to let the kiddos run around and play on the little playground area and we're just going to have a little planning session um, before the next semester starts, which is in, I can't remember if we're starting in August or September, but either way, it's like literally right around the corner. I mean, it's gonna be here before we even know it. But I wanted to give you guys an update. So we had our frozen embryo transfer on Friday and um, I was gonna vlog it. I really wanted to vlog it. When I spoke with them, I asked them about filming in the room and they were like, absolutely not. They were very adamant about it and even told me that we can't take pictures or anything like that. And I thought I might be able to get away with just like sneaking it if Chris did it. But there was someone in the room with us at all times. And usually there was three people in the room. So there was no way we were gonna even try to get away with it. So it's fine. Um, you know, it's kind of frustrating because it's like, I, I understand like their reasoning behind putting these like rules into place and I'm definitely a rule follower, don't get me wrong, I mean that's my HR background, but stuff like this, it's like if it's, if we're choosing to share it, then that should be our choice, you know, because it's, it's more so hindering our privacy than anything, so whatever. It's just frustrating because I, you know, really want to be able to share this entire experience because it's something that I really was missing when I was going through all of this before. Um, and it would just be nice to know like what happens and what to expect and all of that. But regardless, everything went really well. Um, the transfer went really well. So basically when you go in, Ooh, sorry, that's a big bump. Um, and also, like, this camera angle is probably not the best. I have a mount for my phone, um, but I couldn't get it to lock into place. I don't know why, so I'm using a different camera, and it, this is where I have to put it. So, anyways, um, so you, you have to go in with a really full bladder, which is probably the most uncomfortable part of the whole entire thing um, but you sit in this like reclining chair and your feet are in the stirrups and of course the doctor comes in and he puts the speculum in so you have the doctor sitting in front of you and then I had the ultrasound tech on the side of me because they're doing an ultrasound bless you the entire time um, just so that the guy the doctor can see where he's going and it kind of helps to guide him in and then there's also another person, and I don't really know what his title is. He works in the lab, and he was the one that took the embryo out and monitored it during the entire thawing process. And then he's the one that's kind of in and out of the room during the entire time, bringing stuff into the doctor. Um, and then he's the one that actually brings the embryo in to the doctor when he's ready to transfer it. So basically what they do is they have this like catheter that they stick inside of you doesn't hurt you don't really feel it um like i said having a full bladder and then the speculum are really like the uncomfortable parts of it um the transfer itself does not hurt whatsoever um so he puts his catheter in and then he blows a bunch of air in just to open up everything and make sure there's like a smooth clear passage for the embryo to go in and then when he's ready that lab person comes in with the embryo and it's in a syringe with this really, really long like tube attached to it. And the doctor just inserts the tube into the catheter and he very slowly guides it in. And it's really cool because the entire time the ultrasound is going on and you can watch the entire process. So eventually you see him
working it through and then all of a sudden it's like boop you see this tiny little dot and that's the embryo it's inside of you and you get to see it and it's just like it's so it's beyond crazy like it's just the coolest thing to experience now we just wait and pray and hope that this is God's will for us to get pregnant on this round and um, yeah we'll know next week if we're pregnant so the waiting is the worst part of course you're just like a ball of nerves and anxious and scared and excited and feeling all of the things that you can possibly feel during this process but it's so surreal and it's just like so crazy I thought that I would do just a little mini haul for you guys. I went to Home Goods recently and picked up some stuff. Um, and then also Old Navy. I shared some of the Old Navy stuff on Insta Stories, but I know that not everyone follows me there. And I always like seeing this kind of stuff in people's videos. From Home Goods, I just picked up this rug. It's a two by three jute rug. I got this for our laundry room. It was $14.99, I believe. Yes. I love these jute rugs. I have them all over our house. I actually want to get a bigger one of this. Um, because I really like this pattern. I'm, I'm hoping they have like a four by six that I can put in front of um, like our front door in the living room, but I really like those. And then I did pick up some new kitchen towels. I needed some new towels. Hey bud. Um, these were $5.99 for a pack of two and they only had two of the black and white print, so I got both of them. It's hard to find towels that are like really absorbing for the kitchen, so I think these are gonna be okay, but we're gonna give those a whirl. I have some from Target and they're falling apart and I've seriously not even had them that long and it's super annoying. Um, these cutting boards I really like to get. They were $5.99 and I like the size of these. These are a little bit smaller, so I think these will be really good for just cutting up veggies and cheese and stuff like that. Um, and I also like that these have that like rubbery grippy backing. The ones that I have right now are completely smooth on the back side, so they do slide around a little bit, which kind of makes it a little cumbersome when you're trying to cut stuff up. What are you doing? Where is your shirt? <laughs> okay. Um, and then I also got a new planner. I needed to get a new one because mine runs out soon. I think either this month or next month. And I'm looking at this one, and this one starts in August, and I really think, you guys, I think my planner right now ends in June. So I might be going a month without one, but whatever. Normally I get mine from Target, but I saw this one and I really loved the print of it. I loved the gold spiral detail. This one was $12.99, and it's by the brand Fringe. They had a bunch of these, and they had other prints too. But I'm really picky about my planners, so I like it to have like certain features in there. I love that this one has a pocket. You have your yearly calendar right here for um, this year and next year, contacts. Um, and then you go into the month. And I like how this one is broken down. So you have your goals, birthdays, anniversaries, and then your to-do list here. And then there's a little note section. Um, so I really like that. And then it also gives you your month at a glance. Um, and then for like each day, this one's set up a little bit different than the one I'm currently using. Okay. Um, the one that I'm using right now, it has it broken down by time slot. So it's in like 30 minute increments, which is okay. But sometimes I need something more than 30 minutes, you know, like maybe I need like a 15 minute increment and sometimes it's a pain in the butt. So this one doesn't have that at all. And I kind of like that. I'm going to try it out and see if I like just like writing in the time and what I have going on there as opposed to the time slot. So anyways, this one goes to December of next year. It's so crazy to think that next year is 2020. Watch out, baby. Thank you. And then the last thing that I got from Home Goods is this cute little letter board. I've been wanting to get a letter board, but I feel like a lot of them are so expensive. This one was $7.99 and they had a ton of them there. They also had one that was like half the size of this, so it was a little more narrow. Um, but I love this one. I love the color of the wood with that like grayish kind of taupey background. And it comes with 149 letters and symbols. So I thought this would be really, really cute just for like Instagram and doing pictures and things like that. I've already started using this little sign and I really love it. I did this little saying um, 
with our frozen embryo transfer um, on Instagram. Oh, I gotta show you that too. Um, so I took all the letters apart. That was a little bit of a tedious task, but I wanted to show you how I'm going to store all of them. Um, so this is just like a little cheap um, tackle box that we used to use for all of our batteries. I think I got this at Walmart, but you can get them at like the Dollar Tree and really pretty much anywhere. Um, and so I just put the little dividers in and then I just used some washi tape that I had and just wrote out um, what was each what what was in each little section. So I just have like A B C D E F and then all the way down the alphabet and then I have the numbers in here, some of the punctuation um little symbols in here and then also just like regular symbols like the at sign dollar sign and then this section over here i figured i would just leave it like this these are a little bit more of like the wider section and i thought this would be a good space if i decide to you can get a lot of the um like words already made you can get them in like different colors and cursive and different fonts so i thought this might be a good little place to put those if i ever get those. This is from our frozen embryo transfer. I am blocking out um, just some personal information that's on there. Um, but this is what our embryo looked like that is inside of me now. Um, so they give you this little shot of it when you leave and um, it's just really cool. It's just a nice little sentimental gift, kind of like your first ultrasound that you get. Okay. I am going to do this Old Navy try on really quick for you guys. Um, ignore everything that's going on in the background. I just have not even gotten to any of it. I've really just been trying to take it easy and relax um, since my transfer, but I definitely think I overdid it today. I'm certainly not feeling the greatest, so um, I just want to get this done and over with so that I can go relax. But um, I was able to find some of the things online. I haven't looked for everything yet. So I wanted to quickly get this done so that you guys can snag some of those or at least head to your local Old Navy to see what they have. So this is the first thing that I got. It's just this really like pretty purplish sweatshirt. It is so cozy and soft and just so comfy. I love sweatshirts like I just live in them in the fall and winter even in the summertime because Chris keeps our house so cold and this one is so cute this one is an extra small which is an extra small or small is kind of my normal size honestly though I would much rather size up in something like this I like them to be a little more oversized and a looser fit um, but they only had this one left, so I snagged it. It was regularly $24.99, and I got it for $3.47, so such a good deal. Um, but yeah, if they had it in a bigger size, I probably, I probably would have gotten it in like a medium. Next is this rainbow sweatshirt, and I am obsessed. I love this sweatshirt. I have already just been living in it. This one I did get in a medium. It is so comfy and so cozy. I have already worn it in like a couple of videos. I have a feeling I am just going to be living in this because it is so, so cozy. I did try the large on just to see, um, and that one was like way too baggy on me. So you can obviously see the comparison in the extra small versus the medium. This will be so cute. You can tuck it in. Um, that purple one I think will be really cute too, even just during the summer, like going into fall with like some white shorts. Um, it's great just for going to the beach and just throwing it on on cooler nights and bonfires and all of that. So next is this really cute sweater that I got. I love this pink. It is like that Barbie lipstick pink. This color is so pretty, but I love this sweater. I have one almost identical to it. It's like a light, oh, I have like a fuzz in my hair. It's like a light pink one. I love that other sweater that I have and I wear it a lot in the fall and winter and this one's gonna be great too. I got this one in a large. Um, again, I like that really big, like baggy oversized fit. I love like the rib detailing. You also have the rib detailing on the collar and on the sleeves and then I love that it has the high-low cut as well. This will be so cute transitioning into fall and winter with jeans or leggings. Um, you could even like going into fall, 
Um, I probably wouldn't do it with this size because it is a little bit looser, but if I had like my normal like true size, this would be really cute just like tucked in. I mean, I guess I could still do it, but with shorts and stuff, I think that would be really cute or like capris. And because I love that pink sweater so much, I had to get it in the blue version. This one's actually a medium though. Do you guys see how loose it is? Like this one fits like a large, which I thought was really weird. So I did end up getting the medium and this one. Um, and this one was, oh, where's the tag at? I think this one was a different price. Yeah, here we go. Um, this one was $6.99, but it was still $36.99. So I don't know why there was a difference in price. I don't know why there was a difference in fit because it is truly the exact same sweater. These sweaters are also going to be bump friendly as well, especially if you size up a little bit. Um, but I love this blue color. I love blue. Last is this chambray shirt dress. I debated on getting this. I actually picked it up off the rack and then I put it back because it was $21.99 on clearance and it's regularly $34.99 so it wasn't as big of a discount. But then I couldn't stop thinking about it the entire time I was in the store so I went back to get it to try on and I'm so glad that I did because I absolutely love this. I think this is gonna be so versatile. It's perfect for right now. Um, I rolled the sleeve up on this one side so you could see and then it's also great like long sleeve if you wanna leave it like that for fall and winter. This will be so cute with just like some cute little sandals um, or you could throw like boots on for the fall and winter or little booties. I am just loving it. There's like a tiny little slit right there um, and what's that? Size did I get this is a small so I would say this definitely fits true to size you could even throw a little belt around the waist I really think this could totally be bump friendly as well there is definitely a little bit of give and even if you wanted to size up one you would have room to do that because I mean I've got some bloating going on right now with my um, treatments and there's definitely some room to give there. So anyways, I thought this was really, really cute. I've been kind of wanting one of these for a while. Um, but yeah, I do. I like this one and I like the color of it. If you guys follow me on Insta stories, then you know all about Mr. P, the peacock that has been around. Um, but he's a wild peacock and he just hangs out in our neighborhood. He's beautiful and he's super friendly. He'll eat right out of your hand. He loves cinnamon toast crunch. We did, um, Gunnar and I went out this morning and gave him some Lucky Charms because that's all that we had that was somewhat comparative to like cinnamon toast crunch. He wasn't really a fan of it. He did eat the marshmallows though, but I think it was a little stale too. And I think the um, cereal pieces were a little bit hard, but isn't he so pretty? If it looks like I have been crying, it's because I was. I'm finally, well, I just watched it, but I finally got a chance to watch Tara Henderson's birth vlog of baby Grayson, and oh my word, did the emotions flood in. Like, I could not even get through the very beginning of it without tearing up. And even just the epidural portion, I don't know what, I mean, obviously I know what my deal is. I have a lot of emotions going on right now, but... Um, yeah, it was so, so sweet. And then I just watched her latest vlog that she put up today of, um, the first 24 hours and he is just the cutest little baby. It just like takes me back to when Gunnar was born and it's just like ugh, a flood of emotions, such a precious, sweet time and they grow up so fast. So Anyways, I had um, edited today's vlog and realized that I never ended it, so I'm going to do that now. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. I really want to get back into vlogging again, even if it's just like once a week or maybe once every other week or something. So definitely let me know whether it's giving it a thumbs up or leaving it in the comments if you want to see more vlogs. I know for me personally, I just want them for memory purposes. And also we do have family that watches as well. And most of our family, as a lot of you know, don't live near us. So it's just a chance for them to connect and see him and um, just watching him grow. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already or if you're new to my channel and I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.